Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Jamaica Man, and I'm back. It's take number five thousand. <laughs> uh, literally, like I've literally made this video probably around four to five times now. I want to say, but yeah, today's video is on basically how to start the season. Nine days left in the season. I've I've recorded this 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 the same like intro like probably five times, six times now. Uh. The reason why I re keep redoing the intro and the video is because I don't want it to be too long. So let's get right into it. Uh, I was asked recently basically how to start a season. What do you do at the start of the season? And uh, I've basically condensed it because, uh, believe it or not, I've actually been attempting to make this video for over an hour now. So uh, <laughs> I finally want to get it out of the way. So I've basically figured out how to condense it. And just make it as short as possible for you guys. So uh, yeah, how to start the new season? New season starts in nine days, ten days. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys are, you know, what I'm saying, catching up, keeping up with this kind of information. This is what I do in order to start a new season. So let's get right into it without further. All right. Ado. So first tip for you guys is the battle pass. This is take number. I don't even know what. But yeah, the first tip for you guys is the battle pass. The battle pass is very important because one, uh, sometimes instead of a celebration or with a celebration, you get a dunk trick instead of, you know what I'm saying, all of this stuff. Last time we were able to get a, a dunk trick uh, in the battle pass, but this time they put the boxing emote. I like the boxing emote because it's a two-player emote and it looks really cool. So uh, yeah, um, but aside from that, uh, you get the much needed evo coins if you're somebody who is upgrading your player if you want to upgrade skills if you want to buy cards uh, pro cards using these uh, battle pass points or card points from the shop you could use uh, the battle pass coins to do this right so make sure you guys are keeping that in mind when you're doing this uh, when you're starting the season I want to say uh, keep in mind that this battle pass gives a lot of rewards now a lot of people have been complaining saying the game is paid away and stuff like that but the battle pass is literally fifteen dollars bro like you buy 2k every year for like eighty dollars bro you buy 2k every year for sixty to eighty dollars the Kobe edition of the game costs like what one hundred and fifty dollars like if you're doing something like that every year bro like fifteen dollars in a month should not be anything for you bro like if you're cutting lawns for your grandma this is a, a teenager scenario if you're cutting lawns for your grandma or for your parents and you have allowance bro fifteen dollars in a month to to allow you to play a game more smoothly for an entire month should not be a problem bro like I'm not saying it's like trying to sound like a dickhead or anything, saying you're broke or anything, but you you gotta, you know what I'm saying, in order to, to enjoy a smoother ride throughout the season, you gotta invest something, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, yeah, and if you don't, I am gonna be doing a couple giveaways coming soon, so, make sure y'all looking out for that, man, your boy Jamaica got y'all covered. You know what I'm saying? At least two people for the season with, with a with, with a battle pass. So uh I didn't want to do it in the Hank 2v2 tournament that I did the other day because the season is about to end. So to start the season I will be doing a, a battle pass giveaway or something. So make sure y'all like, subscribe and uh check out my channel content and stuff like that. But uh yeah, let's get into the next tip. I'm not trying to make this video too long, so I'm gonna just run through these things right quick. The next thing you want to do is grab the monthly pass, guys. Grab the monthly pass. Why is it important? You get 80% more proficiency per day, 150% coin boost limit, uh, uh, daily coin limit plus 80%, right? Um, and you get a gear boost. So you gain bo all these boosts for 350 uh, sapphires or 350 diamonds for the whole month. You get 300 sapphires back upon purchasing this and then you get 150 per day for the entire month this is over 4600 sapphires guys for the entire month and you get two skill slots 
uh, that you could use in your build now a lot of these builds come together when you start using these two extra skill slots now as you can see for me these two skills that make the difference for me, my build is basically uh, the flank screen and I use rebound pass instead of direct pass now if I didn't have the monthly card I wouldn't be able to have these things on so it's very important that you use the monthly card in order to set yourself up to basically try out different playstyles and be able to win more matches through diversity just being different so get the monthly car card for this reason guys uh, on to the next tip. All right, next important tip is to basically, if you're farming using the monthly card and battle pass uh, bonus, or you're you're farming like this, you have the battle pass and monthly card. The next thing you want to do is basically keep in mind that you have uh, weekly club skills or weekly club quest, right? In order to upgrade your club level, if you already have a max level club, then don't worry about it but as you can see the club also gives you a bonus so keep that in mind and you, on top of that you get weekly bonuses uh, that you could use to buy your club skill levels my club skill rebound contact is almost max yay uh, and you could use the daily battle uh, monthly card rewards in order to upgrade or use it to do sapphire donations daily so that's why I recommend it to you guys uh, the uh, monthly card so this allows you to just be, be able to upgrade your character at a at a faster rate or at an expedited rate the next thing is that's very important is the match coin bonus right the proficiency bonus the match coin bonus now if you're somebody like me who doesn't have a lot of time to play the game and uh, you need to farm up as much as you can in a short amount of time these things have been a lifesaver for me so I buy you know what I'm saying one of these daily and then you could get some from doing your daily quest so when you do your daily quest you get a coin boost and you could get a lot of other things on the side but I mainly do it because I don't play as much so if you're somebody that's in the same scenario and you don't play as much and you need that to help you out then go ahead and jump into your club and uh, check out this stuff in order to, you know what I'm saying, have a smoother season or a smoother snart start to your season. But yeah, let's get into the next, next tip. tip is your friend list. Now, when you check on your friend list, what you want to check for is people that's inactive that haven't been playing the game in a lot of days. Now, Dester is an inactive but I have a lot of people who basically been quitting the game so I'm going to be deleting some of these people off my friend list just to show you guys you know what I'm saying that I mean business Val I haven't been online in five days but I know he gonna come back he's Nova 2 Cap I don't know who this is so I'm gonna delete him real quick John John is gonna come back I know he gonna come back but yeah make sure you guys are keeping this in mind uh, basically if you have a friend list of people that are inactive you have a more limited amount of people to play with what it, what does that mean you have limited teammates to play with your chemistry is being limited you don't have anyone to communicate with it. and on top of it you're wasting friendly friendly space that you could be using to add new people to take advantage of all those things so make sure you clean up your friend list to start the season make sure you don't have you know what I'm saying any people that have quit the game or you know what I'm saying any bums that didn't perform well within the season now it does sound rude to say but you know what I'm saying sometimes you ju it's, it's just how it is and you need some some fresh people to play with you know what I'm saying that's better uh, that's gonna help you win so make sure you guys keep that in mind but yeah on to the so next you thing. guys see how much stuff I did before I even got to right here like a lot of people just start a season and they go oh, all right it's time let's jump right into ranked uh, let's start playing immediately but I do resource allocation I manage my friend list I make sure my farming is guaranteed my daily farming routine is solid for the entire day before I even jump into 
attempting to play ranked. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got to take care of your account. You got to make sure you're playing with the right people. And you got to make sure you're able to upgrade and progress at a stable rate throughout the entire month in order to even win matches. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, now that we're at the ranked uh, position, what you want to do for the rank position is you want to go ahead and check out the leaderboards. Why is this important? You want to go ahead and check out the regular leaderboards because you want to see basically who is on top of the list. Now, if you know the people who are your top 10 legends throughout the season or even your top 20 legends throughout the season, what you want to do is you want to look for a trend in uh, them ranking up first in your server now if you see them ranked up first in your server then you could go ahead and start playing ranked now if they're not ranked up in your server you want to wait a few days just in order to allow them to uh, rank up and you know what i'm saying not give you a headache to start out the season why am i saying this well, a lot of people would say, oh, you're being scary, Jamaica, because uh, what you want to do is play competition in order to um, basically uh, get better at the game, right? And a lot of people use this as an excuse to taunt you into, you know what I'm saying, into situations that, you know what I'm saying, aren't the best for you. Now, I'm looking currently for someone because they've been playing matches with somebody who has basically been a headache to me. To play against so i want to find this person to show you guys that you know what i'm saying these situations are real now please basket trio this guy has been on the game with this game with this name for an entire season please bro ban him from the game or force him to change his name or block the characters so this name isn't you know what i'm saying allowed on the game but as i was saying uh, these situations are real to where you match up against people that are far further in the ahead in the game than you and you just don't have a chance now this guy is a guy who have been come up coming up against now as you can see he has a full maxed out apache card set and then he has 11 percent rebound contact what is that 11.6 percent 11.60 percent rebound contact from his cards alone this guy has block resistance and what is this 5.8 percent now i have box contact on my cards but if you don't wait bro and allow players like this to rank up and get past you you're gonna have a headache people are gonna say you're selling because you're not gonna be able to grab rebounds over somebody that has almost 12 percent more rebound contact than you like look at my rebound contact I have goddamn 47.7% rebound contact. I'm not grabbing rebounds over somebody with almost 60%. Like, they don't even have to spam chip out over me to get the rebound. They could straight up just jump over my head. So, make sure you guys are keeping that in mind. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for all the tips. As I said before you guys do not want to solo queue make sure you watch my don't solo queue video if you guys want any more tips uh you know what i'm saying just spam up in the comments and i will be you know what i'm saying jumping on that uh, today's the day where i check my comments for video ideas and just to reply to comments that i missed throughout the week to see if i could gain any inspiration because your boy is running that your boy gonna have to start you know what i'm saying upgrading to uploading some gameplay and stuff like that but uh yeah i want to thank you guys again for all the continuous support and allowing my channel to grow to this you know what i'm saying point to where i'm at right now almost 1k 1k on the way 1k jamaica on the way man but uh yeah it's your boy pro jamaica man and i'm out of here man let me know if y'all enjoy this video and uh yeah peace See, tall day on your ass, and clip, you gon' fast, doin' a 180 on the dash.